Hello everyone and welcome to our uh, exciting webinar today. Uh, it's Ian here from Clear Insight and on behalf of the Clear Insight team and the Sentage team, the great Budget Maestro solution, uh, we're pleased to have you along and welcome you to our webinar today. Um, so I'll just kick it off uh, with a couple of introductions and uh, I know that there's uh, quite a few on the webinar who know us, Clear Insight. Uh, and some who may know Sentage and Budget Maestro and may not, so we'll just kick it off with a few introductions, um, a little bit of an intro, uh, just to a couple of real slides on Budget Maestro, and then we will go into uh, a live demo uh, with that. So uh, as mentioned, it's Ian here from Clear Insight. Also on the line, we have Susan Malik from Clear Insight. And then from the Sentage team, we have Diego Castro and Mike Matthews, on the line as well, and Mike will be our key guy taking us through the demo session of our webinar today. So um, while we're on the screen, I'd like to mention that uh, we welcome your feedback and look forward to any questions, uh, whatever they may be as we're going through the webinar. So hopefully you will see in your GoToWebinar screen there on the side the ability to uh, enter in questions, and please put those questions out to the panelists. Uh, that are here, and we will probably take those in, at the uh, end of the session for a Q&A. So just uh, by all means, fire in any questions as you go through, and uh, we look to all being well, we will have you uh, out uh, before the top of the hour. So once again, thanks for joining, and uh, looking forward to a great webinar today. So for clear insight, um, as mentioned, many of you know who we are. But we are a professional services uh, consulting firm, and really we focus in on primarily the Office of Finance. And in the Office of Finance, I like to tell our customers that we focus on the strategic sides of the business as opposed to the tactical sides of the business. So you've got your, your accounting systems, your ERP systems, your banking systems, whatever uh, core day-to-day uh, -day systems that run your business. We plug in on top of that with all the strategic parts and really work with those existing systems uh, is our specialty and bring that into a uh, single version of the truth from which you can do all your budgeting, planning and forecasting. Uh, little box number two there, we get quite involved in helping you with your financial close, any regulatory reporting, external reporting, SEC. Um, also in that second bucket will be board reporting Perhaps every month you need to generate reports up to the board uh, and to see your management. There's a number of ways that we help our clients make that much more efficient. Uh, management reporting, we're going to see a little bit about that on this uh, webinar as well today. Uh, and analytics, we're key into that out to the rest of the business. That's where you've got dashboards and all kinds of those great things as well, um, not to mention just financial reporting. And then bucket number four, uh, rapidly becoming mainstream in the marketplace. If you are not aware of this or have been exposed to it yet, we'd be happy to share with you where we get into profitability modeling and really advanced analytics that in the past you needed a data, data scientist for, but now uh, with the tools that we have available in our kit bag, we can make it mainstream. And so in a financial sense, uh, how do we leverage predictive uh, capabilities and your big data resources that you have to help set your uh, forecasts and your budgets initially and do that. So many other areas that you can do. But at the end of the day, uh, as you see in this little slide here at Clear Insight, we're all about taking the business capacity that you have and really helping you work smarter, not harder. So our goal is uh, across these four major buckets, of course there's other things we do, but these four major buckets, helping you leverage the resources that you have uh, available to give you better outcomes, whether that's more efficiency, whether that's better accuracy, whether that's more time. And really it comes down to three things that we do. We will help you gain back time. We will help you gain back control. Um, you know, so often information is sent around in spreadsheets and different things and you perhaps are losing control and then the last thing is confidence. Uh, the all important thing in the Office of Finance is you want to have confidence in your numbers and to know that you're reporting the right things. And so this is, uh, this is our business. We are very excited.
excited to be uh, partners of Centage with the Centage team here. And uh, you will see on this webinar today what a fantastic tool Budget Maestro is that will help us with a number of the buckets that we're seeing here. Um, so uh, glad to have you on. I will now turn it over to Diego, who will walk you through just one or two slides about Centage before we go into our demo. Diego? Awesome. Thank you so much, Ian. Can you, uh, can you hear me okay? We hear you great. Perfect, perfect, and thank you so much for that uh, for that introduction. We're very, very excited to uh, you know team up and partner uh, with you folks, and um, you know we're very, very excited to be here and kind of give you guys a, a look under the hood of our uh, automated budgeting and forecasting solution. But before we get there, I just wanted to kind of take a step back, tell you a little bit about our company, you know what it is that we do, uh, what we've kind of seen in the market, and uh, you know from there we'll kind of show you our platform. So. As you can see with all these beautiful logos here, we've, uh, you know, we've been in business for about 16 years and in that time we've had the opportunity to work with several different types of companies and different industries, uh, as well as you know, build connectors to several of uh, the technology partners you can see on the far right there. And with that, we've had the opportunity, uh, you know, really to to build a versatile platform. You know, we've really seen all sorts of different company uh, structures, uh, you know, simple to complex. And uh, we really wanted to kind of accommodate for that as we built uh, Budget Maestro. And that's what you're going to see as you kind of go through the demonstration today. Um, you know, there, there's several uh, reasons why organizations, you know, grow out of Excel, uh, you know, for their budgeting and planning. And, you know, what we can do is we can actually help coach you on how to identify those different pain points and how we can help uh, improve your process. So as you can see here, there are several, several different things that we run into and what we're hearing from our clients when it comes to um, their budgeting and planning process. And Budget Maestro uh, is able to uh, you know, really handle all these different things. So everything from rolling forecasts, budget to actual comparisons, uh, consolidations is something that we run into all the time. Uh, but the end goal here is really to simplify the process, uh, allow you guys to not spend so much time on the budgeting piece of things, but uh, really slicing through the data uh, and being able to make decisions that are going to significantly impact your business in a positive way. Um, the last piece that I wanted to cover before we get into it um, is really our mantra and our vision, what we're trying to do uh, with our approach here with Centage. And we wanted to build a tool that um, you know, allows you to get uh, you know, through your budgeting and planning process, something that's easy to build. Um, as we know, um, budgets change quite a bit, right? You know, we want to be able to give our users the ability to you know, pivot and make changes to their budget and their plans. Um, we want to include the entire team when it comes to this process. We know that there's a lot of moving parts and collaboration is huge when it comes to, you know, making sure we put together the right reports. Um, and ultimately, this is going to lead, uh, you know, everybody to have the ability to see the data uh, and act upon what you see. So, um, again, we're very, very thrilled to have the opportunity to show you our uh, platform. So I'm going to introduce you folks to Mike Matthews, which is our senior solutions engineer here at, at Centage, and he's going to walk us through the tool. All right, great. Uh, thank you, Diego. just want to confirm everyone can see our screen. We're all good, Mike. Excellent. So uh, let's dig in here. So this is our welcome page. You now, where essentially everyone with a license will centrally enter the tool, you know, depending on your security preferences, uh, which we'll likely touch upon towards the, the tail end of the demonstration. You, know, you may see a lot less tiles on the screen here, uh, as well as a lot less uh, sections of Budget Maestro coming down this left-hand side here. Uh, so essentially, there's going to be four, you know, main sections of Budget Maestro. So the first piece is a data model. So this is the connection to your, you know, accounting package where we'll house, you know, the various segments or dimensions that make up your full string GL account. You know, to Diego's point earlier, you know, we have uh, about a dozen or so, uh, you know, off-the-shelf integrations to a lot of the major mid-market uh, accounting packages, uh, your Intax, NetSuites, uh, Dynamics GP, or, or all the Dynamics Suite, I should say, Sage, QuickBooks, uh, and a number of others. But at the end of the day, we've integrated to uh, almost four to 500 different uh, accounting packages. So really, any system you have, uh, we'll be able to speak to. So the system is designed you know, to enforce your chart of accounts, your structural hierarchies and tree roll-ups, one-to-one. -one. 
So, you know, the exact same language and rollups that you have within your accounting package will roll directly into Budget Maestro, essentially be uh, an extension of that. Uh, the next piece here is our budget setup. So, you know, this is where you'll set up all of the, the various balance sheet and cash flow implications, define uh, seasonal spreads of yearly numbers. So, you know, during the training and implementation process, you know, you'll work hand in hand with a dedicated uh, consultant, you know, to build those data defaults, uh, if you will. The next piece here, you know, probably our main section, budget maestro, you know, where you're going to come in, you know, budget for expenses, revenue, personnel, create drivers, make adjustments, run scenarios and forecast, things like that. So we will spend, you know, the majority uh, of our time in here today and then reporting, you know, we, uh, the ability to kind of slice and dice the reports uh, any which way uh, to really have full view and insight into your organization at any level of detail, you know, not only in Budget Maestro, but also with our uh, advanced reporting here. Uh, so this is kind of a, a glimpse of what, you know, we'll drill into uh, a bit later. Okay. So uh, let's start off in Budget Maestro here. I do want to start off in operating expenses. It's a good place to go over a lot of the basics and fundamentals of the tool, and then we'll really be able to drill in. But as you can see here, you know, we can kind of start this simple. You know, we have a simple Excel-like grid coming across here where I can just simply come in, plug in numbers monthly as I go. And we also have our monthly totals tallying up top here automatically, you know, for my particular part of the organization, in this case, my admin department. But what we want to show you essentially is that we have the ability to, you know, add additional granularity. So, you know, at the end of the day, again, you know, we're designed to enforce your chart of accounts, structural hierarchies, tree rollups, one to one, but not necessarily hold you to it. So let me show you what I mean by that. I'm going to come in and I'm going to filter out by just one GL account, 6030. So as you see here, you know, we have the same GL account, the same part of the organization, but two levels of detail. So, you know, within Budget Maestro, you're going to have the ability to budget uh, an extra granularity and detail below that GL line. So, you know, essentially there's going to be three ways that you can enter data into the system. So the first way, again, can just be that, you know, manual process, kind of come in, plug in numbers monthly as you go. Second way is what we call simple auto, which is simply going to be a yearly amount, you know, with a particular spread method. And, you know, we have a number of spread methods already pre-built into the tool, you know, even 12 months, monthly amount, quarterly end, quarterly start. But, you know, if you had any sort of seasonal spread or any other yearly spread, then we can very easily configure that into the solution. And the third way is what we call a data link. So you may want to calculate something or drive something based on anything else in the tool. In this example here, my office rental is being driven based upon my square footage driver, which is being held in my driver section multiplied by a rate per square foot. So, you know, at the end of the day, any number that you put into this tool could be as simple or sophisticated as you want it to be. Another one of the real claims to fame of Budget Maestro, again, something that really sets us apart from a lot of the other competitors in this marketplace is, you know, essentially as you're building your P&L, the Budget Maestro is going to be completely automating your balance sheet and cash flow projections for you. Okay, Budget Maestro is the only solution on the planet, you know, with integrated out of the box balance sheet and cash flows. Now you're simply just defining, you know, your payment terms and expenses, receivable terms and sales and income, and Budget Maestro is going to be able to handle the rest for you. But you know, we do have many more sophisticated and unique approaches. You know, it's very easy to define any company specific approaches. You know, we have an accrual example here where we are building up our expense and paying it out quarterly. Also a prepaid example here where we are prepaying our expense and amortizing it throughout the year. And with Budget Maestro, you're also going to have the ability to budget out multiple years. Okay, Budget Maestro rolls out literally as many years as you need it to. You know, 60 years, 70 years, really way more than anybody could ever possibly need. But, you know, the option is there if you need it with ease. You know, if I simply just switch this from one year to two years, this expense essentially just keeps on rolling out until you give it a further assumption. You know, maybe an incremental year over year increase or maybe some sort of term date. You know, we have start dates and end dates built into every section of the tool, but you know, we'll be sure to show you a couple of additional tools that really complement this feature and 
know, why many companies have adopted some form of rolling budgets or a mid-year forecast if they aren't already doing so today, you know, when bringing on a more sophisticated solution like Budget Maestro. Now, uh, let's jump into our sales and income section. But I do just want to point out, you know, everything that we've gone over, you know, so far within expenses works consistently, you know, throughout the rest of the solution. So a lot of the basics we've already talked about in expenses, you know, apply to how most clients typically, you know, want to budget their revenue. But, you know, we do have a lot of specific tools that are built into this area of the product that, you know, could be industry specific or even company specific, such as different types of, you know, payer mixes uh, in healthcare organizations, you know, utilization rates in uh, service companies, you know, inventory or component costing and manufacturing organizations, uh, cost of sales, cost of goods sold, uh, driver based budgeting. And you see here, you know, we have this input orientation. So, Line by line, you can define each revenue stream by whether you want to budget in dollars or in units. You know, very common thing. Many companies may not want to only budget their revenue dollars, but also by some type of business unit. And, you know, units, just a general term, can essentially mean anything. For example, billable hours or patient days, units of products sold, uh, mileage, you name it. And then you can define a price and a cost as well. And even these can be taken to a whole nother level. Maybe you want to drive your cost as a percentage of price or maybe cost as a percentage of net revenue. Maybe even break out cost into components such as maybe labor, materials and overhead, so on and so forth. Also, you know, in revenue, typically we see that a lot of our clients, you know, want to work by a few additional dimensions, you know, such as maybe product line or product or customer or project so within the system you're essentially going to have an unlimited set of dimensions for the ability to you know budget across slice and dice reports across really any part of your organization so you know right now we're seeing you know some some limited data here i'm actually going to switch into my sales department uh, we have a lot more uh, data within here as you're seeing everything kind of broken out uh, by the various dimensions here on the right hand side here, you know, you're seeing on our input screens, these are dollar amounts. So these are essentially the results of units sold times a rate. But you know, what if I don't necessarily want to work by dollar amounts? Maybe I want to work by units sold and simply switch my revenue to my revenue units. Or maybe I want to work on my prices and simply switch this out to unit price. Or maybe I want to work by cost, whether it's cost per unit or gross cost, you know, so on and so forth. So I'm really gonna have the ability to kind of work by any data subset that I wish. Also, you know, in Budget Maestro, you know, because we're pre-built, all of the you know, financial logic and intelligence is already pre-built into the tool. You know, we have the ability to defer revenue. So you see here, we're booking an assumption in period one, we're recognizing that revenue evenly throughout the year, and we're taking in the cash 30 days later. Obviously, you know, fairly simplified example, but this could be handled in all sorts of extravagant ways. This could even go across multiple years, if need be. Remember, Budget Maestro is always rolling out. So if you have to defer over, say, 18 months or 24 months, you know, we can certainly handle that. You know, we have government contracts, so they have to recognize their revenue based on a percentage of completion or maybe based on cost with markups, things like that. But bottom line here is, you know, here is however you're booking those sales, however you're recognizing the revenue, and however you're taking in the cash can all be completely independent and at your discretion. Now, you know, we realize that revenue models can be unique for every organization. And, you know, that's why if you have any specific questions or want to know if we can do some unique things, you know, please let your contacts know. And, you know, we're more than happy to set up a more one-on-one -on -one meeting. We can kind of discuss, you know, any kind of specifics about your revenue model or any other part of your budget uh, that you think is somewhat unique. Okay. Let's jump into the personnel section. So, you know, while the simplest of budgets, you know, may account for workforce expenses as, you know, just another line item. You know, this day and age, payroll takes up far too large a portion of the budget to, you know, take such a simplified approach. With Budget Maestro, you know, we allow you to budget by position 
or even individual wherever necessary. It's very common to even bring in your existing list of employees into Budget Maestro, you know, for the fullest accuracy and detail. So, you know, not only are you budgeting for, you know, salary uh, start dates or differentiating FTE and headcount, we can even model out the different expenses, you know, related to each employee. So, you know, while you still could budget a more high-level flat fringe rate in Budget Maestro, that you're able to budget the appropriate tax and benefit rates, you know, with the exact caps and even eligibility dates, you know, for new hires as well. So with less effort than before, you'll have more accuracy, detail, and power over, you know, more than likely the largest expense of your business with Budget Maestro. So, you know, building a budget is essentially only the beginning. You know, as we've learned, things sometimes don't turn out the way we expect. So it's important to be prepared for that inevitability, which brings us to scenario planning and forecasting. So, you know, many scenarios you'll want to run will be simply, you know, based on increasing and decreasing certain figures and variables. You know, our what if wizard will specifically handle that requirement. But the real power of Budget Maestro, you know, lies in its version control. You can have, you know, over a thousand versions to run best and worst cases, even track different revisions during the annual budgeting process. You know, why you made us want to make some mass assumptions with our what if wizard, Budget Maestro provides fully functional versions, meaning that the full modeling power of our solution will be at your fingertips and you can make more definitive business decisions. So I can literally come in here, you know, start off with a particular version I want to kind of use as a starting point. I'll be able to come in, literally make course corrections line by line if it made sense to, but I also could make mass assumptions and kind of filter out each part of my organization, maybe by a certain department or by a certain customer or product line, whatever it may be. So I'll have the ability to add in incremental increases or decreases, whether it's dollar amounts, percent amounts, start dates and end dates of those assumptions. So within here, you know, I'm, I'm able to get extremely granular. But, you know, perhaps you might need to maybe model out an expansion or delay funding for certain projects. You know, other examples might include maybe modeling out acquisitions of companies or adding locations, launching new products or services, uh, changing commodity prices. You know, with this kind of modeling control, anything will be possible. You know, and you retain the ability to compare any scenario to any other. You know, meaning you're no longer limited to that one way that you built your model years ago. Now, Budget Maestro will even take this one step further with forecasting. So, you know, this is what many people think of when they want to see a forecast. You know, with Budget Maestro reporting, you have a simple way to see what your forecast is when you're, for example, three months in. So, this report here, you're seeing three months of actuals and nine months of budget. You'll even have a simple way to slide out to a six and six this easily. You know, but this may only get you so far. And when you look at this forecast and don't necessarily like the trend you're seeing, now you start thinking about maybe wanting to make some course corrections. Now the forecast wizard will allow you to have a whole new scenario where you can utilize all of the same powerful tools to make true business decisions as you adjust the course of your business. So, and now that we've started to talk about reporting, and I do want to start by pointing out, you know, within Budget Maestro, you have a number of, you know, standard reports already pre-built into the tool. We already have a standard, you know, uh, gap compliant income statement, balance sheet, cash flow, so on. But the bottom line here is, you know, because we have that financial intelligence and logic already pre-built into the tool. Now you've seen throughout this demonstration and maybe other collateral, you know, Budget Maestro does the math for us in each section. You know, automates all of the debits and credits. You know, P&L automatically drives balance sheet and cash flow, so on and so forth. So, unlike other tools, you, know, you do not have to, you know, program in how you want to roll up your accounts and then program in some sort of math. Budget Maestro already knows how to do these calculations. So, all you have to do is simply define, you know, how you want to roll up your accounts, drag and drop them anywhere on the report you really have full flexibility when it comes to creating these views. So as I drill into an income statement here, you can see I can drill all the way down into my lowest level of detail. 
you know, here's my building repairs and my office rental that we talked about earlier and operating expenses. You know, right now, this is a month over month report. If I wanted to switch this out to say quarterly, simply switch that out. And now our quarterly reports up top here, Q1 through four. Now maybe I want a little bit more of a focused report. You know, maybe have this broken out by department. Simply switch this out. You know, here's my income statement. Departments coming across the top here. Now maybe I want a little bit more of a focused report. Maybe some sales and income by say customer and product. You see my products coming down here, customers coming across the top. I want to flip flop these dimensions. I can simply switch that out. Maybe add in my project codes as well as an additional factor. Now it's broken out by product, project, and customers. So as you can see here, you're really going to have the ability to kind of slice and dice these reports any which way that you want. And uh, we even have the ability to kind of track uh, approvals, you know, throughout the system here. So you know, the system is fully designed and capable to cater to a lot of our, you know, department heads and operations managers, people who might not necessarily be finance centric. You know, we've Design the system to be extremely easy to use. So you can have someone come in, plug in their numbers, submit it up for approval, and be done with it. So you can kind of track their process throughout the entire way. So you're seeing here the expense approval broken out, in this case by department, you know, what expenses have been in the budget, what expenses have been submitted, what's been approved by management, things like that. This can even get even more granular here, down to the account number level. My account's coming down the side here, departments and their status going right through here. But, you know, if all you care about is the numbers, then you're going to get any report you need here out of Budget Maestro. But then we also have, you know, this next level BI dashboard presentation style reporting here in Analytics Maestro. But, you know, at the end of the day, I could have created this report in Budget Maestro, budget to actual with variance. You know, exported this out to Excel, you know, built all these pretty charts and graphs around it. But if this is something that I'm doing on, you know, a monthly basis, quarterly basis, sending out to department heads and executives, I have no desire to build this entire book of reports. Every time I need, you know, with our advanced reporting, you're literally building these reports, these layouts one time, and then you're done. All the most updated information automatically feeds in via your accounting package and in turn via Budget Maestro. Even if someone comes in, overwrites this data, you know, mistakes happen. Simply come in, press refresh sheet, and all the most up-to-date data goes right back to where it needs to be. You know, we have another sample dashboard here. Revenue, expense, net income with some key charts and graphs built around it. You know, we have a year over year income statement. As I'm clicking around, you know, notice in the formula bar, you know, there's no links, there's no formulas. We'll let Budget Maestro handle any sort of calculations. You know, we're simply reporting on the numbers, you know, on the results out here. We have a quarterly income statement here. I want to drill on a Q3, I simply double click. Period seven, eight, nine, automatically pop out. If I don't need it, simply zoom back out. Q3 pops back on the screen here. And we have a year over year budget to actual comparison report, you know, with some key metrics and KPIs built in on the bottom. You know, at the end of the day, you're gonna be able to put these reports in any format that you need. And during our comprehensive training program, that's exactly what we aim to do. Now we're not just going to be training you on static data. Now we're actually going to build, you know, your structure, your chart of accounts, your key reports, and in turn, hopefully the first pass of your budget during that training process. And but you know, it might not just be about PL, but also maybe year over year balance sheet as well as cash flow, you know, all the way down to that lowest level of detail, as well as maybe any non-financial accounts, you know, the various drivers of my budget, headcount, total hours, planned hours for a number of years, coming across, you know, all of the various parts of my organization. But at the end of the day, you know, the sky is the limit. Now you're really going to be able to put these reports in any format that you need, you know, with any data that resides in Budget Maestro. You know, even Create a report from scratch, you know, very straightforward here. Simply connect to my Budget Maestro database, and I'm going to build my pivot table. So I'll start with my versions up top here. I'll show you my plan basis, which is my original budget. Put our months across the top, as well as our years and departments, so we can slice and dice the reports. And we'll put our accounts coming down the side here. 
I'll show you my income statements starting with my net income. I'm going to press apply. I'm going to set up one quick preference here to auto resize my columns. Now, as you can see here, not a whole heck of a lot going on. But as I drill in, you know, I simply double click net income, now EBITDA, gross margin, you know, net revenue, cost of sales. You know, right now, this is a full year of data. I want to drill in, my quarters pop out, drill in a Q4, period 10, 11, 12 pop out. We don't need it, simply zoom back out. Q4 pops back on the screen here. If I wanted to insert a graph based on this information here, I can simply come in and I can insert a graph, you know, pull it up in the corner here, make it look pretty, maybe build some conditional formatting around it. You know, and that's how straightforward this can be. Right now, you know, this is a consolidated report. You know, if I wanted to slice and dice this report across a couple of different parts of my organization, simply come in, press replicate. I'm going to grab a handful of departments in my case, press OK. Now this exact report is replicated, sliced and diced across a couple different parts of my organization. Yeah. Then we also have this distribute function here as well where you'll have the ability to essentially create a mailing list. So, you know, maybe Dave in marketing might need these five reports simply filtered on marketing. Now, maybe your president and CEO might need every single report at the consolidated level, and you know, so on and so forth. So the last piece I want to touch upon in today's demonstration is the security aspect. So, you know, right now, I am the administrator of this database. You know, I have access to everything. You know, every part of my organization, you know, every section of budget, maestro, expenses, revenue, personnel, the ability to delete data. I have access to every, you know, main section of budget maestro here. So I'm going to log out of here and I'm going to log in as Chris. Chris is one of my department heads here. As I log in, you'll see here a little bit of a different uh, view here. Chris does not have access to personnel, does not have access to, you know, delete out data. Open up here does not have the you know access to you know for to my integration to my ERP doesn't have uh, access to setting up the defaults simply has access to budget maestro and reporting. When I come into operating expenses, you know, you still see that simple Excel-like grid and feel. And now when I come in to switch departments, you'll notice that Chris only has access to the administration department. So at the end of the day, you know. Any person you bring into the system is only going to be able to see what you grant them access to, literally down to the account number uh, level of detail. So you're able to get extremely, extremely detailed in this security piece. Okay. So you know that concludes uh, my demonstration. I'm going to turn it back over to uh, Diego as well as Ian you know, for some next steps and some Q&A. Uh, thank you so much for your time today. All right, excellent, Mike. That was fantastic. Um, great to see you. Uh, well, you sold me. <laughs> um, so that's excellent. So um, we uh, we now are kind of at Q and A time, and Mike, you made it uh, nice and tight, even though you covered off a lot of stuff. So we do have a minute or two for for a few questions to see if there's any questions that did come in. If you're still thinking of a question, please put it into the chat or question um, tag within the um, GoToWebinar screen you have there. But right now I'll see if there is any. Susan, I'll, I'll uh, ask you to unmute yourself and just let us know if there's any questions for the team here that have come in so far. Thank you, Ian. Yes, there is a couple of questions. Uh, one is they somebody would like to a bit more insight into how Budget Maestro enables driver-based planning. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you know, at the end of the day, you know, you're going to have an unlimited uh, set of drivers. You know, for the ability. You know, obviously, a driver is a very open-ended. Uh, topic of discussion because every organization has different drivers. So you'll have an unlimited set of drivers for the ability to, you know, drive revenue, personnel hiring, uh, expenses, and that's definitely a great topic uh, where we could drill into, you know, on a one-on-one -on -one level. Uh, so please reach out to Ian and the team over at Clear Insight, you know, if you wanted to set up a more, uh, you know, kind of one-on-one -on -one demonstration where we can really drill into some, some specific examples. But, you know, thank you very much for the question. Uh, next question, in what way does Budget Maestro help us transition into doing rolling forecasts? 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, for, for all of the examples that, that we talked a little bit about today, you know, you'll have the ability to have a multi-year forecast. Uh, you'll have the ability to, you know, throughout the year, whether it's monthly or quarterly, splice in actuals with your remaining budget and then kind of reforecast out the year or maybe even reforecast out the next 12 months or 18 months you know, so you really have uh, a true dynamic rolling budget. So a number of different ways uh, that, that we can help out with that rolling forecast piece. Um, how does the integration work? Excel, import, export, uh, d does the data come directly into the system? This particular individual says they, uses, they use SAP Business One as their ERP. Okay. Great, great I question. I can make you, uh, if you wanted, Mike, just let me know. Oh, that's okay. Um, so the, with SAP One, you know, we, we, we do have clients on it. Uh, we do have the capability to build uh, a custom integration. So we would kind of work with you along that during the implementation process. But at the end of the day, you know, anything that you have in Excel is importable uh, to Budget Maestro. So yeah, we, we, we use Excel for import a decent amount, but you know, during that training and implementation process, we can work with you to build a custom integration to SAP. Okay, thank you. And the um, next one, how long does it typically take to get up and running and converted from my Excel-based budgeting system to a Budget Maestro system? Another great question. So on average, uh, it's anywhere from four to seven weeks, you know, and we're probably the fastest to market uh, because of our pre-built nature. You know, we're not coming in programming some solution that could take three to five months to implement. You know, we're essentially layering your, you know, intricacies into Budget Maestro, layering your structure into Budget Maestro. So uh, we are very quick to market anywhere from four to seven weeks, depending on the type of training that you go through. So obviously that's a uh, pretty high level. You know, again, if you want to get a little more in depth with that, even we can even, you know, build out a project timeline for you. And that's something that we can definitely do one-on-one. -on -one. Okay, well, thank you. Um, another question, can we get dashboards only through the Excel add-in? Yeah, that's our advanced reporting, Analytics Maestro, yes. Okay. Are there any other questions? Okay, Ian, I don't think so. I think that's the last question. Okay, all right. Well, terrific. We are, where are we at? Uh, 40 minutes past the hour, so uh, I hope everybody that has joined us uh, really enjoyed the, the demo and the review here. As Mike mentioned, um, and you should see my screen and my contact information there, um, we are more than happy to touch base, answer any questions, uh, bring up a, a specific webinar for you if you want. We can demo uh, specific things with your implementation. Some of the questions around your ERP and SAP um, as Mike mentioned, we can we can connect online and show you a bit more of that as well. So don't hesitate to reach out to me with uh, any thoughts on this. Um, we are in the business of helping folks just like yourself, and so look forward to sharing more with you about Budget Maestro and and what an effective solution it is. So if there is no more questions, we uh, once again thank you for joining us today for our webinar and hope to touch base sometime in the not too distant future. Thanks so much and bye for now everybody. Thanks everyone. Thank you Ian, thank you Susan. All right. Yeah.